Hi everyone, here's our math problem for today. Let's say we have this 10-foot statue that is on top of a 50-foot building. And let's assume that your height is 5 feet. Now we would like to know how far away from the building should you stand in order to get the best view of the statue. That means we would like to get the largest possible angle in your field of vision. And let's represent that angle as this theta. If you stand very close to the building, the size of theta would be small. And because of that, your field of vision is not maximized. On the other hand, if you stand too far away from the building, the measure also of angle theta would be smaller. So we don't want to be too close nor too far away from the building. We just want to stay at that sweet spot in such a way that the size of this angle theta is the largest. And of course, this angle must be positive. Now you can pause the video and see if you can solve this math problem. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by looking at this triangle. Let's assume that the building is perpendicular to the ground and therefore we have here a right triangle. The width of the triangle is x and the height of this triangle is 60 minus your height which is 5 and therefore the height is 55 feet. Now to find your angle of elevation, that angle should be the inverse tangent of the opposite side which is 55 feet and the adjacent side which is x feet. So here is the expression for your angle of elevation. Now let's draw another triangle, this time connected to the bottom of the statue. The angle of elevation here would be the inverse tangent of the opposite side which is in this case now 50 minus 5 which is 45 divided by x and if we subtract these two angles the resulting difference would be the measure of this theta which is the angle that we would like to maximize so therefore if we want to maximize this angle we can use the first derivative of theta now let's recall that the derivative of inverse tangent of x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared and we are going to use this in order to compute for the derivative of this equation so let's find theta prime of x that is equal to the derivative of this first term minus the derivative of the second term. Now, inverse tangent of 55 over x is a composite function composed of the inverse tangent function as our outer function and 55 over x as our inner function. And therefore, we are going to use the chain rule of differentiation. So applying the chain rule of differentiation, the derivative of inverse tangent of 55 over x is now computed using this formula that is in the form 1 over 1 plus x squared, where our x in this case is 55 over x and the derivative of 55 over x is equal to negative 55 over x squared the same explanation for the derivative of inverse tangent of 45 over x now simplifying this multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators to arrive at this and then distribute x squared and here is the result since you have minus here and plus here let's rearrange the order and we now have our expression for theta prime of x now in order to optimize this value we need to find the critical point and that happens when the derivative is equal to zero so equating theta prime of x to zero we now arrive at this equation and we add 55 over x squared plus 55 squared to both sides of the equation then multiplying by the least common denominator that is we do cross multiplication we arrive at this equation and simplifying further we distribute 55 at the left side and distribute 45 at the right side to arrive arrive at this equation 55x squared minus 45x squared is 10x squared and subtracting 55 times 45 squared to both sides of the equation here is the result and simplifying further we arrive at x squared equals 2475 or x is equal to plus or minus 15 square root of 11. But since we know that x is positive, then we just take the positive 15 square root of 11 as the value of x. This is now our critical point. We would like to know whether this is the maximum or the minimum. Investigating further, let's look at 
the table of values from 0 up to 15 square root of 11. Notice that all these slopes are positive, which means that the function is increasing from x equals 0 to x equals 15 square root of 11. Then at exactly 15 square root of 11, the slope is 0, which means that we have the highest possible point at this x value. Then at x greater than 15 square root of 11, notice that the slope of the curve are now all negative, which means that the function is decreasing. So this verifies that 15 square root of 11 is indeed the highest point. And so substituting now this value to this equation in order to find the angle, we have theta equals 0 0.100167421162 region or 5.75 degrees. So this means that the largest possible angle in the field of vision of this man is about 5.74 degrees and that happens when he is about 49.75 feet away from the building. And this problem is now solved. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.